trends of 2015. First of all, Pantone just came up with their color of the year for 2015, and that is Marcella. So that is not the Indian chicken that you're thinking about at the restaurant, but this color. It's sort of this reddish, uh, pale wine looking color, um, more of earth tone, so you'll see that a lot at makeup counters and also um, clothing that you'll be buying at stores. So the shapes are seeing for 2015, they're generally more boxy shaped, um, looser sleeves, not so tight fitting, um, bishop sleeves and just wide sleeves and also uh, culottes, pants. Um, basically, people are going looser and more comfortable. As far as pattern goes, we're seeing a resurgence of 70s psychedelic trends and that's really fun, um, paired with bell bottoms and that's starting to come back on the runway as well. Um, as far as footwear goes, uh, Nike, Adidas, and Tavis, the casual shoe wear are coming back. Almost every fashion blogger we see on Chictopia and on Instagram has had a shot in the past year with something nice and formal paired with some sneaker. So that's our fashion prediction for 2015. Hope you enjoy it. And now we have Cindy Camarco, a real fashion editor here, telling us her take on trends for 2015. Hi, Chictopians. And here we have Cindy, one of our Sheetopia community members. Hi. And Cindy, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, what you do. Hi, my name is Cindy. I have a blog called hippiegourmet.com. I'm a stylist, blogger, writer, and fashion designer. Now, who do you write for? I write for Harvest Bazaar Indonesia and Men's Folio Indonesia. Wow, accomplished editor. Oh, thank you. <laughs> So being an international blogger who knows trends in Europe and also trends in Asia, we thought you'd be the best person to ask about fashion trends in 2015. Um, during these years, I see a lot of sport legs trend, but uh, in the 2013, it was launched like everything was super sporty uh, with Alexander Wang as the pioneer. And now it's smart, much more subtle and it's much more minimal in a way like with the stripes, like the jogging stripes in the pants and also only like the knots in the dress that mm -hmm. uh, have a hint of sporty in the minimal living. So the sports trend basically would continue on to yeah. 2014 but with a different styling yeah. um, and a less sportiness yeah. into it. <laughs> Be so besides um, sporty chic, what other 2015 um, you know, looks do you think will we'll see more of on the I mean, street. Definitely iconic accessories like uh, like this one. Like you can see a lot of iconic accessories and uh, also this one I Oh wow. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Is the earring so you can have like the minimal chic look but you can still have the fun in your outfits with the iconic accessories and I catch you one like the super big earrings or the fun looking bag. <laughs> Yeah, those are very statement pieces. So for someone like me, like when I see these accessories, I, I think they're cool and great, but I don't know if I necessarily know what to pair it with. Do you have any styling tips for us? For I love monochrome look. It's always good with everything with monochrome is always good and never wrong. Mm -hmm. So uh, with these pieces, you, you want uh, the pieces to be the start. So just wear like a black and white or gray and you're good to go. Oh, okay. So basically, like JLo said, only uh, show off one thing at a time. Yeah. So you want your accessory to be the star and then you can have like sort of the monochrome yeah. undertone to it. Okay, that's a great tip. Thank you. <laughs> so what were some of the trends in Milan Fashion Week that stood out to you uh, last year for Spring 2015? Oh, for Spring 2015? Yeah. Um, I think they have like a lot of big sporty look incorporated in the chic Parisian look, mm -hmm. uh, like the bow, like the I don't know the knots on the dress in Gucci, mm -hmm. and also they don't have a lot of uh, animal prints anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, they used to have a lot of animal prints, but now they're more minimal and more subtle. Mm -hmm. That that's true. That's actually something I noticed in New York Fashion Week runway last. Uh, September that there were definitely less animal prints. There were still a lot of prints, yeah. um, but I would say they were mostly maybe floral and yeah. almost bohemian like. Yeah. Yeah. Floral is always there, but in yeah. that, I think it's the bigger like monochrome color of mm. floral, mm -hmm. and um, it's not 
bohemian like the New York Fashion Week. Yeah, but I think they're more about the embellishment and the mm -hmm. craftsmanship of the dresses mm -hmm. and the surface treatments. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of laser cuts and mm -hmm. a lot of pleats and mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, 3D printing, mm -hmm. I think. It's super interesting to see. Yeah, that's great. All right, Chictopians, that was our interview with Cindy Camargo. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao. Ci vediamo, ragazzi.